using the diagram included with your Central Valley 1902 truss bridge kit. And we're going to start with the AB girders with this A side, the solid side, facing toward the outside of the bridge, and the B side, the lace side, facing toward the inside of the bridge. I place my cutting tool over the line, lining it up like a sharpshooter, and I'm just going to mark it so that I know where to cut when I put it in my miter box. Cutting the bottom of the same girder, I want to align my saw to the line of the bottom parallel for cutting later. Continuing with my AB girders that go around the outside of the bridge here and the diagram included with the kit, again making sure that my A side, the solid side, is facing toward the outside and utilizing the diagram as it shows here, one end has the angle, the other end is straight. I'm going to place my saw to mark it so I don't accidentally cut the wrong place. Continuing ahead with my uh, same girder I just marked, <clears throat> noting that this splice line happens to is designed to be straight through the same place. And I line up my mark that I made on the uh, diagram, line my girder up straight to the diagram as straight as possible, and then again as before. I just want to mark it again. Using the diagram we're going to do our last AB section making sure that our solid side is going to be out toward the outside of the bridge. If you note here there is no splice in the top cord and there is a splice in the bottom cord. And uh, to find the length of this and make it correct, I just count these. There's there's one, there's six of these X's, and then the center one, and then there'd be six more. So you need a total of 13 X's in length. So I'll put it in my miter box, and the same as I did with my marking techniques, I'm going to align my saw right next to those rivets so that they all line up properly and saw this all the way through on my miter box. Cutting the AB face girders that go in the portal. The first thing I did with the miter box was cut all four girders to match the bottom mark we made previously. Now I take one girder realign it to measure twice, check my cut line to my diagram, and I place a pin in the end of my miter box as a stop so that all four can be the same length, align my part against my pin, and proceed to cut. Cutting your BB girders You'll note here on the truss diagram that these splice locations are aligned with the ones up here. Now this scarfing of the, uh, it's just for marking reasons, the one that goes in the middle of the bridge is right on the center of the X. Then the one that's on the far end this one here is right on the rivets. Cutting the one that goes toward the end of the bridge will scarf and mark right next to the rivets. And then the end that hangs out to the far end, that's of open dimension and uh, the bridge is designed just to have it cut right next to the uh, end of the laces.
Cutting your CC girders, uh, you have a lot of room for uh, adjustment here. I recommend you cut them so that they're just about the center of your uh, main girders. You could, if you like, trim one end so you have a good squaring end. They should all be the same length. Uh, 